Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 12. In this exercise, we're going to open the drawing called Parcels Beyond, which I've done, and we're faced with a road layout that's different from what we've been using, and we need to create a parcel layout around this alternate road layout. Now that might seem like a lot of work, but based on the commands that you learned earlier in this chapter, it's actually not too bad. So I'll start with the Create Parcels from Objects command and select some of the kind of main geometry for the layout. So the overall boundary of the site plus these other boundaries that kind of break it up into large pieces. The back lot lines primarily and then any other lines that we might need to, to break that up even a little further. And also the right-of-way lines. Now one thing you'll notice is that the geometry in this drawing has been well prepped. Um, the right-of-way line is continuous polyline the whole way around. The back of lot lines are also continuous and unbroken. And that's a key thing when you're doing this in a production environment is to make sure the geometry that you use to convert to parcels is good and clean and, uh, and well done and well prepped. So now that I've selected everything I can press enter. Just to keep the drawing a little cleaner I'm going to use a simple area label style called lot number. We'll learn about styles and labels in the next chapter but for now just kind of make that suggestion. When you do this yourself use that lot number area label style. And when I click OK, you'll see all the different parcels that have been created. One in this location, one in this location, and several others, including uh, the right-of-way itself is a parcel. So now what we want to do is take the individual lot areas and subdivide them further into individual lots. And luckily we have tools that make that very easy and fast. So under Parcel, I'm going, to, I'm going to open the Parcel Creation Tools. And the command we want is Slide Line Create. But before I open that, I just want to point out that we're using the defaults here. So Slide Line Create. I'm going to select um, my area label style of lot number once again. Click OK, and now I want to choose the first area that I want to subdivide. I'm going to do this area here. It starts at the front of the existing road, wraps the whole way back around to right here, and that's the first area I'm going to subdivide. It doesn't really matter which, which one you do first. Next, I need to indicate my frontage, so I'm going to use the right-of-way line as my frontage and bring that the whole way around to the end of the area that I'm subdividing. Next is the angle between the frontage and the lot lines. If I just press enter there that'll use a default of perpendicular. It's going to show me a preview of my layout and if I wanted I could I could come in here and change some values but I'm just gonna say yes and that completes the layout. The second part that I'll do is this big open area coming back around in this direction. So I'll click the area that I'm subdividing. Notice that I clicked the area label, not the edge of the parcel. Again, I have to indicate the frontage, so I'll do something very similar to what I just did. Wrap it around to here. Press Enter to indicate that I want a 90 degree angle between the lots and the frontage. And just to make it interesting, I'm going to change a value. I'm going to come over here and say, you know, let's instead of redistribute remainder, let's create a parcel from the remainder. You can see how that changed it. And it took the leftover and just made an additional parcel out of it. I'll accept the result. And you can see that we've subdivided those areas. And then we do have one large parcel here. I'm going to use the freeform create tool for that parcel and uh, maybe just snap it right to the midpoint of that side and we'll divide parcel 51 into two parcels something like that. So not very difficult at all and that concludes the essentials and beyond exercise for chapter 12.